Hey everyone, it's Nate the Vinyl Guide and I'm here on my workbench. Got a piece of paper down because I'm going to be dealing with some very tiny components. I am going to be changing cartridges on my turntable. All right, and I'm showing you a couple of cartridges from my collection right now. This is an Ortofon 2M Red and a 2M Blue. Now, both of these are high quality phono cartridges, moving magnet cartridges. Uh, without going too technical, essentially these will work with the majority of record players out there. If you, The other is a moving coil, which is a little bit more lightweight and has some other advantages, but you, you have to be a little bit deeper into the audiophile realm to really appreciate the subtleties there. Uh, let's stick with moving magnet cartridges for this video. Now, my first Ortofon cartridge was a 2M Red, this guy right here. And uh, this is really kind of the entry point for cartridges. When you start moving from vinyl hobbyist to hi-fi enthusiast, uh, this cartridge here is a couple of hundred bucks, so it's not a light investment, but it's important to consider also the quality of cartridge and stylus that you use uh, for vinyl records because keep in mind this is a physical medium so that little stylus right here is in touch with all of your record grooves and if there's something wrong with that little needle there it's going to scratch into the record groove so you really want to consider getting a really nice stylus uh, if you want to preserve your vinyl for years to come now the next step up from a 2m red is a 2M blue. And the sound difference between these two are significant. Much warmer lows I've found with the blue and much more defined highs. Uh, and I gotta tell you, it's another price point jump. So this the blue is more expensive than the red. Uh, but again, you need to pick which price level you're comfortable with uh, and go from there. Now, what I'm showing you here is a cartridge, okay? The cartridge is this stylus, this kind of blue area, the colored area, and this black bit that has the uh, leads for your tone arm, for your headstock to be able to plug into. Now, you can purchase the cartridge itself just like this with the stylus, uh, or you could purchase just the stylus separately because that's the part that's going to wear out the first uh, and you're going to need to replace it here and there. Now, this is an old stylus, and the way I know this is I, I leave notes for myself. Here's a note that says, replaced October 14th, 2017. I leave notes like this because I tend to hang on to some of these boxes, and uh, I won't remember the dates or the years, or sometimes I'll, I'll pick up something used and I won't uh, recall if it's new or not. So I leave little notes for myself. Uh, and, uh, and here's another note from another cartridge when I replace that. Uh, October 21st, 2018, so a year later. So this stylus essentially lasted a year of play, which is no small feat in my house. I am constantly listening to records throughout the week. So uh, if you look at the cartridge, this right here is the casing, the little cover, and this is what protects the stylus during transit. You just push this little thing forward, push this little knob, and you can feel it kind of ledge off. Then there's the case, the casing comes off, then there's the stylus there. That little, little itty bitty piece of diamond is what makes our dreams come true. All right, so you can see there's some dirt and some dust there. This is an old cartridge. I, I'm going to replace this today with another cartridge, okay? Uh, now the cartridge I'm replacing it with is this guy right here, a bronze, Ortofon bronze. So it goes red, blue, bronze, and there's a black one as well, but that one was far out of my price range. Uh, let me quickly show you how to change a stylus. So you have yourself a cartridge like this. You could actually purchase a replacement stylus. All you have to do is just pull the, just tug it forward, tug it forward, and then you pull off the stylus. And here's the cartridge, still works fine and everything. It's got this little kind of square shaft here. And you'll see inside the stylus, there's a square shaft, kind of the, uh, the female counterpart, the male and female. And if you read any pamphlets on reproduction, all you gotta do is just slide one into the other and boom, there you go. 
So uh, I could very easily take out this old stylus and then replace it here, but I'm not gonna do that. This stylus is new since 2017, October 14th, and on October 21st of 2018, I replaced it with this entire cartridge. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna replace the entire cartridge, the blue, with this bronze. Let's do it up, shall we? All right, there we go. We now have the 2M bronze Ortofon cartridge on my Thorin's headstock there. So uh, it wasn't that hard of a job. I uh, just used some tools here, one of these octagon-shaped uh, uh, screwdrivers uh, to unscrew the cartridge from the casing and then put it onto the, uh, the headstock here. And uh, then I used the little needle nose pliers to help make sure that these cables were secure in. I did most of it with my fingers here, but uh, I did use the needle nose to just push in and make sure the connections were nice and solid. There's a wiring diagram uh, that comes with each Ortofon cartridge. And of course you could look it up online. It's super duper easy. It just, you know, green to green, red to red, um, you know, couldn't be more simple. If you are colorblind, you may need a friend to help you. Uh, another thing that I keep handy when I'm dealing with uh, my turntable stuff uh, is one of these. This is a little thing that straps around my head and magnifies things. So it's got a little light here. Uh, and when I'm looking at, you know, I'm doing work on a, uh, a cartridge or even if I'm looking at a record like the run out groove. This is really handy because it allows me to, uh, you know, read very, very small print. And that's important because I'm getting very old. So you can see how much it magnifies and how convenient it is to just kind of flip this thing up and down. So uh, there you go. I would uh, recommend purchasing one of these. If nothing else, get a jeweler's loop that you can you know, one of the one of the things that uh, you see in the movies where people kind of look in and look at the diamond ring or whatever, uh, that is uh, that's really handy to have, especially for working on run out grooves. So there we go. I've changed the cartridge, and uh, now we're going to listen to it on the turntable. Let's go. All right. So I've now attached the Ortofon 2M bronze to the turntable. Uh, the headstock is now on the tone arm, and I've reconfigured my entire turntable. By the way, if you guys have uh, not reconfigured your turntable in some time, I would highly recommend you do that. It's actually quite easy once you get one of these things. It's a turntable protractor, and you just kind of make sure that the, the stylus pops down the middle of these dots, and the headstock is properly aligned. Uh, there's some of these uh, online. You could just Google them and then print them out. I got this from an old Shure uh, stylus uh, from many years ago, and it's worked so well for me that I've just kind of kept this piece of paper around. So even though I use Ortofon, I've got the Shure Pro Protractor just because that's what I've used in the past. So there we go. And I'm now going to test drive this 2M bronze, but I don't think I'm going to be able to play it for you guys just because I don't want to get into a copyright squeal with... Uh, Oh, I got on the turntable, Bjork. So uh, I'm going to blast it through my Rotel and uh, let's, uh, let's give it a go, shall we? All right, I just finished play testing the Ortofon 2M Bronze. Wow, I'm so impressed. That was amazing. And it wasn't just me. My wife listened to it too and she toned right in. We both agree the uh, Ortofon 2M Bronze is a huge upgrade from our 2M Blue. Look, when I went from, from the Shure to the Ortofon 2M Red, I was impressed. It was, a, it, it was a nice jump. When I went from the Red to the Blue, it was another jump. I heard more lows and more detail in the highs. But going from the Blue to the Bronze, Man, it's like taking blankets off your speakers. I mean, you hear that much more detail. I was play testing it with a couple of records, uh, The Black Queen Infinite Games, St. Vincent, uh, uh, a Blue Note jazz record, the uh, Blue Note Review Volume 2. I could hear so much more clarity in the musicianship and more details. It's amazing how much difference uh, the, the cartridge can make. So uh, look, I, I'm stunned by the 2M bronze. Uh, I, 
I can't wait to hear more records tonight. Uh, I, I would encourage you though, if you have a record player and you're looking at upgrading the cartridge, make sure the record player, your system, is worthy of the cartridge, right? Uh, I mean, this cartridge is a four or $500 investment in your sound. So uh, make sure your system is worthy of it. Not, if you have a Crosley or one of those all-in-one things, your cartridge is not the weakest point in the system. Focus somewhere else. But if you have a decent turntable, a uh, decent tone arm, uh, uh, even an average receiver and a good set of speakers that aren't blown, you will hear the difference. And to top it off, the cartridge is the part that actually, or the, the stylus is the part that actually makes contact with the record. So the fact that you're using an Ortofon uh, will mean that you, you, you can rest easy that the contact with the record is not being destructive, but is actually, you know, playing the record as it intended to be played. So again, uh, Ortofon 2M Bronze. I'm so impressed. Uh, and uh, man, there you go. This is Nate, The Vinyl Guide. Make sure to subscribe to the podcast, www.thevinylguide.com. New episodes every Monday or whenever I feel like it. All right, peace out. Cheers.